you get a singing the montage the of that? Are you recording this right now? Awesome. I will stand by you forever. You can take my breath away. Hello and welcome back to the Ghost Out Sports Series here live on SportsTownChicago.com. Dr. P. alongside Kyle Griffin. We are here with some of the best players in the state of Illinois defending state 1A champions, the Hornets of Hayworth. Hi, I'm Cassie Kingery. Hi, I'm Chelsea Hinthorn. Hi, I'm Lauren Ball. Hi, I'm Savannah Ross. And I'm Kyle Griffin. Yeah. What do you think about having the notoriety now here at the school? I mean, you walk in and right away we know that Hayworth is a place for volleyball. I think it's really cool. The community really has supported us and the school, especially our fans mm -hmm. and the teachers are all for us and everything. Defending state champs, what's it been like to deal with the thought of, wow, you know, yeah, we were in region now and again, but huge. That game versus Scales Mound is one of the greatest games we've ever called. Come, huge come from behind victory. Is it a lot of pressure or is it like, hey, you know what, now that we know we can win, let's go try and do it again? Well, that game was really intense, but um, it puts some pressure on us, but I think it kind of puts a lot of pressure on the other teams because they know that they have to compete against us. But, I mean, there's still a lot of pressure on us, but we do pretty well with pressure. You guys pressure. are 13-1 and on the season so far. Your only loss is to Clinton. What did you guys learn from that, being as it was so early in the season? Um, we definitely learned that we need to pick up tips. Clinton killed us with tips the first time around. We came back, we spent the next four days in practice working on tips. We can pick up almost every tip. I can guarantee that any team can throw at us now. Our, our, our defense is solid this year. I think that's really what's helping us get through. But you already came out and won the Clinton Invitational. What's it like, because you lost some great senior leadership, what's it like for you ladies, especially yourself, to step up and prove that you can be a leader and show the new team? I think it's like it's going to be really fun. Like it's, it feels good to be a leader. I know like we did lose like two of our best players last year, but like like Cassidy came in like and took one of their like positions, and then Lauren like came in and she's a really good setter too. What's it like to be that person that knows that you as an individual you really have to lead your team and teach the younger players? Um, it feels really good. I mean, I've always kind of looked at myself as a leader, and I've always like viewed myself as a leader. So it's really fun to be able to come out and um, like teach new like skills to other players, and it's really fun to just like be known as like one of the top teams that like you know people are worried like oh we're playing Hayworth tonight. It just, it's like a good like confidence boost to sit there and know that we are one of the teams that people need to look out for. All right, for SportsOnChicago.com, part of the Go South Sports Series, we're going to be live here tonight as Blue Ridge takes on Hayworth, defending Class 1A champs in the IH IHSA. Dr. Pete Ferrari for SportsOnChicago.com, where we are in a league of our own.
realized that we weren't going to go down without a fight. You told us before the game, tips have been your issue. It came to haunt you early on and often with Blue Ridge. How were you able to recover quickly with tips? Uh, we just had to make sure that we knew where Caitlin Zellhart was. Um, she's a really dynamic player. They bring her from all the different angles. They bring her from the back. And sometimes I don't know whether or not to triple block her. She swings, but then she tips. And she's just really hard to read. So we just have to be on our toes and be ready to run down anything, really. Hayworth defeats Blue Ridge in three. Alongside me, no head coach Andrea Vogel. Coach, talk us through it. First set, you lose. They really won in convincing fashion. Close one and two, ran away in the third one. What changed from the first to the second to the third? Well, we started playing our game. I think it was senior night. There's a lot of emotions emotions going. These girls care about each other so much. And I just think that, that we just started off really frantic. And I've really never seen us play like that before. So I knew once we settled down that we would be fine. All right. Post-game wrap-up here brought to you by SportsTownChicago.com, where we are in a league of our own. Go South Sports Series. Check it out on the website. For Kyle Griffin, yours truly, Dr. Pete, and, of course, our producer and cameraman, Curtis Sahey, wrapping things up here. K excuse me, Hayworth, the Hornets take out Blue Ridge Knights in three.